Yeah now, unity is only that. It's one, it's one vibration. You overstand. Hear that? What? Yeah. Yeah, this one on my seven crew. Tell you why mix your crew. I don't want this culture coming. Good afternoon, Derek. Derek Von Nepkin is a vocational instructor uh, in hydroponics at the Arc of Hilo, where he uh, teaches these skills to people with disabilities. But today we're interviewing Derek on a more personal level, and it's all about how he and his wife and his family live off the grid. I just learned that off the grid means no uh, health or power, no electricity, right? What else does it mean? Everything like, like uses electricity. We have like a solar power. We take from the sun into the solar panels, photovoltaics. And it charges a battery system, which lasts as long as you use it. So if you use it for like all day, it'll drain. But then by the next day, it'll renew with the sun. Yeah. Depends on, on how old your batteries are, how much time you use it, and no, so on. <laughs> we don't always have all the sun and solar that um, that we could use over here in East Hawaii. So what happens if it rains for 40 days and 40 nights, which it's been known to do? Um, we have backup system. We use a generator to like uh, run our major appliances, which includes washer, dryer. Um, and while you're doing that, it charges the battery. So let's say you wash clothes three times a week, and there's no sun, and automatically get renewable energy through that. So that's just yeah. so amazing. You, you pretty much pay for just the gas to run that generator. And the generator is a big, like I got a 5,000 watt Honda that can hold like maybe 12 hours. So if you run it for 12 hours, your batteries are full, but who stays home with the generator for 12 hours? <laughs> Not if you're in Hawaii. Yeah, so you break it up, maybe four hours, four hours, four hours. And you try not to use too much energy. At the same time, you know it's cloudy outside too. But it'll run all the lights in the house. Everything is full switches. It's all, well, what do you call it, programmed to work. And if it doesn't work, it'll shut down. Wow. And last case scenario, you have no gas in the generator, candles. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fun. Important to have yeah. candles. And you have a family, you have children, you yeah. have a little baby. Yeah. Um, we, we, got everything. we got everything. Um, we used to have a computer, but we got TV. Like I said, we got lights in every room. Um, my son has PlayStation, yeah, everything. Okay. Yeah, you can do anything. PlayStation. Guitar, electric guitar, anything can go on it. That is just phenomenal. <laughs> Would you, if I asked you to start my daughter and her husband and children off off the grid, could you teach them how to do this? Um, you can. If, it depends on the person if they want to do it. Like my wife, she grew up doing that. She lived in Orchid Land, so oh. Orchid Land they had no power before. Right, right. Where right. I met in. In the acres, or in acres, there's, there's lines, but you gotta tie in, and it'll cost you money to tie in. Big time. Yeah, you gotta pay, pay some kind of charge, SSTP charge. So okay, so you decided to be off grid. Yeah. For your own yeah. economic reasons, etc. Mm -hmm. How much money do you save every month for? I know you have a huge house. I've heard about your home. It's big, and you have all of this power that is you not from our source, which is health report. So, uh, what do you think you're saving every month? Okay, before I built my house, I used to, I don't know what the electricity is now, I used to pay like 180 bucks when I used to rent a house for electricity. So now, you know what I mean, it's been eight years since I built my house. Trust me, it's multiplied. Yeah. It's huge. What I hear now is like, uh, all I hear is not too good. good. Yeah. <laughs> We're, so, we pay the highest in the nation. So you would run, if I could compare you to my home, which is all electric, between four and five hundred dollars a month, Derek, to power the what you have in your house. I have the same. I pay amount. like hundred twenty right a month. now. Yeah, which for, is for a week. Like we run our propane stove, uh, propane water heater, oh. and propane refrigerator. So 
So you pay for that, of yeah. course. Yeah, and that lasts pretty long. Depends wow. on how long your showers are, yeah. how long you wash dishes, uh, how long you baking. <laughs> Do you think their children are gonna? They're teenagers already. Are they gonna probably follow suit and, and live off grid when they get married and, and grow up well, in a family? Like um, like I said, my wife she grew up like that, so if they wanna grow up like that, I mean, with their family, then it'll be easier for them. Like yeah, I was hakalaw. All electric. Cable. <laughs> Everything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. TV on all the time. All the ghost load is on. You don't care, yeah? But now you unplug everything. Because if you leave your TV on, there's a ghost load. Oh, I yeah. see what you're saying. If you leave your stereo on, there's a ghost load. There's all kinds of ghost loads in electronics. So that's the kind of stuff you got to be um, aware of. Aware of. Yes. So what do you do? You just unplug everything. After you're done using it, that's the way I use it. So you really almost automatically become a conservationist yeah. just for sustenance. Because whatever, like the ghost load, it'll draw power from your batteries. And you wouldn't know it if you didn't know it. But I had to learn all that. So That's just amazing here. I'm so proud of you and your family and the fact that you work <laughs> with us here at the Archipelago. I hope um, that your children will follow you and yeah, continue. And I, and I hope more people will get interested in living off the grid now that we more and more people more you hear like doing it and yes, live, happily, yeah. live happily ever after mm -hmm. well thank you again Derek <laughs> on Nexton uh, we appreciate it and our class 6 of the Umal series appreciates it thank you you're welcome the people looking for a little fun to do outside the sun it shines under the endless sea but we don't need no greed cause in this